Should have stayed out of here. <laughs> Good to see everybody again. Boys and girls. Yes, yeah, front row center today. Yeah, front row row. <laughs> hey, this is the word segment. And uh, this, is, this is where here at Kid Venture we come out and look at the Bible. See what God has to say about our virtue, discipline. And uh, this month we've been talking about our faith skills. And these faith skills are disciplines. You know, exercise is discipline for your, uh, you know, to make you stronger and healthier body and mind. Well, you know, faith skills make you stronger and healthier in your faith. So, our first skill was navigating the Bible, right? We talked about if you want to know God better, you got to read his book. And the second one, does anybody remember? Uh, no. <laughs> it's a good thing I got notes right here. <laughs> yes, miss. She's got her memory verse done. Good deal, man. It's, it's personalizing scripture. So. We want to know God better. We've got to remember His words. Very good there, miss. And today, we're still finding out we need to grow stronger. And uh, you know what? You kind of bored me. Um, how about we play a game? Who's up for a little game? All right. Well, I'm going to need some help. Some volunteers this morning. Um... Very curly low, right here. Come this way. I, I got a big box down here. And somebody's in this box that you might know. Might not know. I mean, but you're going to need to use some cooperation. That's my virtue. And some discipline to try to figure out who's in this box. Yep, still there. <laughs> so, um, can I ask him uh, really any question you want, but turn around here so everybody can see you. Come on up here. You need to work together to try to figure out who or what's in this box. So, how are we going to start? important to cooperate, talk it out, ask, ask some questions. Let's see if we can figure out who's in there. You got to ask the box. I don't know. Uh, it probably needs to be yes or no answer, so... Yes. <laughs> Is it a girl? No. <laughs> so, uh, what other questions do we ask to to figure out how, who's in there? Four. Four, maybe. Who's 
said they were going to ask me if I was stupid. I heard that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Prompting that. Up. All right. Well, you know what? We wanted to. We didn't want you to actually get. We wanted to make it a little bit harder for you to guess who that was. Okay, who was behind the box? So we wanted you to have come up with some hints. But there's somebody that come that comes with us every day. That's a little bit more of a mystery. People think it's a mystery, but this person who we talk about each week wants us to know who he is. And so, do you know who that is? Jesus. Yes. God. That's right. Exactly. All right. And so that brings me back to what we're talking about today. We're talking about talking. This, um, having the discussion or a dialogue with God. And so one way to get to know God better is through dialogue, which dialoguing with God, which is a big word for what's another word we say? When we're talking to him, we could say we're praying. Good job. I heard it over here too. Good job. So through prayer. Uh, but let's face it. Talking to God may be a little different than maybe talking to your parents. Because when you first start, I don't think, how many of you remember when you first started talking to your parents? Okay? I don't know if that's, that's probably hard to remember. You just started talking to them. What about your good friends? Was it hard talking to your good friends? Was it hard talking to them? But what about the, what about the creator and the giver of everything that's good? Is that a little harder to talk to? Sometimes it could be a little bit harder to talk to. So, the disciples who followed Jesus asked the same question. How do we talk to God? The disciples asked Jesus that. They watched Jesus pray, and they knew that he talked to God in a way they, they hadn't expected. And Jesus answered them. You want to know what Jesus said to them? He gave us a great example of prayer. You have it up there. Cool. So we, to help you guys out, we can think of the word prayer. P-R-A-Y. The first one, the first thing you need to do when you talk to him is just praise God for who he is. He's the creator. So you can say, praise you, Jesus, for being the creator of all things. So that's the first thing to do. Then R, we need to recognize that we are, have all sinned. We have missed the mark. We are not doing what we're supposed to do. And so we need to recognize that we are a sinful person. So when you pray, praise God, and then say, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. And A, then, is to ask for help. Okay, so let's say those three so far. The first one is, praise God. Then R, recognize your sin. And A, ask for help. And then the Y stands for yourself and others. You want to start praying for things that you're needing in your life. And you see others, your friends, your neighbors, anybody there. So the last one is praying for yourself and for others. And Jesus taught us that prayer. It's found in the Bible. Luke chapter 11, verses 2 through 4. And we call it the Lord's Prayer. And so we're going to close this segment right here with the Lord's Prayer. How many of you know the Lord's Prayer? Okay? It, the Lord's Prayer helps us go through these things. So we're going to close with the Lord's Prayer. So let's pray together. As we say it, I'd like you to pray with us. Here we go. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And that's how we pray. All right. Thanks, guys.